Welcome, folks, to the cattle. Not the cattle. <laughs> the F7F Tiger. Tiger cat. Yeah, Tiger cat. Re revisit. Uh, since I have AI carriers now, and we've now got our schedule set up, we're gonna act together. I decided to revisit the classic airplane. Listen to the new sounds. Not many, just you're gonna hear new sounds. Let's turn our batteries to on. Starter select to the right. Hear that familiar starter sound? Let's shove our canopy. Alright, canopy is shut. Let's get a push back because there's no way we're going to be on it. You can't take this plane off on a carrier. I've tested it, fully tested, and she lands on a carrier if you know what you're doing. Very smoothly, I was able to actually pull a real takeoff, a real landing. You know, you come in, you throttle up full, once you hit the deck, yeah, it worked. Alright, and as we all remember, we kick her nose wheel and she'll turn. Yep, two degrees of flaps for takeoff. Listen to them old engines. As you remember before, this was about a year ago when the channel started, I reviewed this airplane. Well, I'm back with it, and I have to say it's aged pretty well, in my opinion. Look at the beautiful tail, the paint job looks pretty nice for its age. Uh, I don't mean as in the aging in the cell, I mean comparing it against the Carinado airplanes and anything else. Now you may ask, Ace, how are you going to get this plane up to speed time? Remember that water injection feature, guys? That's what I use for takeoff. Water injection on. And that will push our, it's basically the ADI I found out. And that will push our airplane beyond our limits. And you can do, you can do vertical flight, but I pretty much use it for takeoff purposes. Strictly. Because it's very hard to get it off of carriers. Carriers normally fly the standard left hand pattern, we'll fly the right hand for this run. We'll do about two to three landings and takeoffs and uh, we'll get to know this bird again this time. And our carrier roll. And our true roll as a Navy airplane. Now Primarily for the Viet, uh, no, I think it was the uh, Korean War. The plane served as a naval fighter. <laughs> Let me grab my phone here, guys. I got a new phone. Smartphone. Ooh, fancy AC. We'll get a couple of nautical miles out from the carrier. And let me get my phone. I have, a, I have an aircraft dictionary in it, guys. Let me just go to it. I'm, it's a aircraft encyclopedia. Very nice app. I do recommend it. It's on the Android App Store. Uh, Tiger Cat. T Cat. There it is. All right. There it is. Look at it. it doesn't. It gives performance and everything. Like uh, takeoff distance. It doesn't give. It says F7F Tiger Cat or, or G51 Tiger Cat at also. Wingspan is 15.7 meters. Alright, so we'll talk about that when we land. This is actually how you can bleed off some speed pulling these turnaround moves, guys. You can see we're lowering everything. Preparation for our landing. Now I can keep talking about it. Maximum speed is about 377 knots. 
Optimum speed 192, maximum range is pretty good. I may actually use this flying more. Now that we're set up for approach, I want to teach you guys how to land. Alright, what you want to do is keep the nose oriented downwards, keep it around 150, 100 for landing. Your flaps full down. It'll slow your airplane down enough. And you'll get a nice good glide rate like I've got right now in the, under the runway. And uh, as you can see the runway is getting closer. Cables are visible. Get the real close to the cable. Now the cables are getting up closer and closer. We've completely dropped throttle so we're gliding in right now. What you want to do is you want to orient the nose down get to the carrier deck nose down like I'm doing so and then what you want to do is this a little rough but alrighty <laughs> oh, I want to switch that one raise that alright we'll park here for a second after we get out of the way of the landing Deck. All right, now, now you need other planes landing plane. Now let's talk about the F7F. It's specs. With the wingspan of the length is 13.8 meters and the solid meters. Height is 5 meters. Absolute ceiling. What thousand? Is that 41,000? I think. Times. Yeah, it's 41,000. Climb performance is... That's a very nice climb rate. Hmm, very nice. Oh. And this encyclopedia, guys. Mobile aircraft encyclopedia. Very big. It's huge. I've got mine set to by aircraft popular name, like say I put it in Tom. Cat. And it'll bring up Grumman F14. Because. Wait, we're charging out. Because it's what I've told it to look up, look for it is. It's basically what you call what the model name was. Alright, now let's get this airplane back on. We'll do another tag off and we'll call it a video. Remember water, water injection always on takeoff, guys. If you've got AI carriers, I recommend it. Listen to them, wasp and just. Whoosh. Anything around A, should not got enough distance to take off. Well, gotta remember, this can make us do vertical flight. Well, one well, wrong. Let me just take off. Like right now, I get this nose oriented up right now. Look, nose oriented up. And shut it off. Good airplane, I'll admit. I enjoy flying. Very nice, very sporty, very maneuverable, actually. Makes AI carriers fun. Now, folks, we're gonna add in a bit of a challenge. Forward. Command them to go forward. Now the carrier will be moving. Not too much of a difference, but all right. Let's cu let's cut that wide arc. Oh, we still got some flaps down. Oh, this is what I did earlier. I cut in so close. Tail hook down. Yep. 
everything down right and locked. It's a good thing they're possibly. Are they moving? They don't look like they're moving. Oh, freaking heck. This is I love. We may be going on a missed approach. Or not. We're coming in nice and easy. Just gotta hit the cable. That's how you do it. Miss landings? Yep. Even this guy has them. Let's see, we, we handled that nicely. Instead of panicking, the key, stay calm, stay cool, and there's, you'll, you're guaranteed to hit your mark. Alright. Put on our flaps after the uh, carrier, and we'll cut. Uh, we'll get past that cloud there. Now, I want a viewer response here. I want a viewer... Uh, actually, no, I'm not gonna do that, because I know those guys have got time, and they've got the computers to do those long around-the-world flight recording episodes. Alright, let's turn on the final. Are these guys moving or is it me? I think, oh, now they're moving, okay. They weren't programmed to move. Alright, now, like I said, the key, keep your speed just right and you'll float in like a butterfly. Right now, um, judge our speed. Yeah, we're coming in a little high. But you gotta watch dipping down that nose, cause... And you can't, you don't have the recovery altitude to get back on the deck if you're too low. Like, I almost was. Realistic real life takeoff right there, guys. So you land on a real life carrier. You get the wheels down, you full throttle it. But there's a chance you'll miss your mark. Hope you guys enjoyed seeing the F7F again. If uh, AI carriers updates, you'll see her again. She's a good airplane to test out AI carriers with. May even bring back the F4U for a couple carrier landing videos. Alright, now begins the most fun part of any flight. Uh, not for me. Oh well. <laughs> and as always, I love to do this. This is just so cool. <laughs> Alright guys, I'll see you next time. Adios.